Hello everybody on YouTube, Brendan Parker back again with another tutorial. This time in this tutorial I'm going to get uh, back into Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to do uh, something different in Photoshop, uh, showing how to do some logos and stuff like that, uh, logo making and stuff. So uh, it's pretty, uh, uh, well, depending on what you want to do for your logo or whatever, it, it could be complicated depending on how detailed that you want to be with your logo or whatever. Like you can integrate like uh, other programs. Like if you have Cinema 4D, you can use that. You can use that a little bit to get you started. You could do something with text inside Cinema 4D or whatever, or something like that. But uh, before I show you uh, with anything like that with Cinema 4D or whatever, I'm going to show you a little bit and how to uh, just uh, do a basic uh, messing around stuff like doing text stuff like that, playing around with uh, brushes that you've downloaded. If you download a lot of brushes, uh, depending on uh, what version you have, you, say you have like uh, Photoshop CS5, try to find brushes that work with that. I know uh, I've tried brushes all the way through ones that work with CS3 and they work pretty well with CS5. So try to look for ones that uh, on Google that work with CS5, CS4, CS3. Uh, and preferably try to get CS4 or CS5 ones because they look they work a lot better mostly with uh, CS5. So uh, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to new and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave it like I always do leave the settings because I don't change them until after I got a new one then I go right here leave that right there put it to the center and I go to image and then I go to image size then I uh, pick my dimensions how I want it whatever 500 by 300 see how that looks I go 700 by 300 image size or like 900 by 300 by 300 see how that looks okay just to about right there Right there, depending on how uh, how long you want it, uh, I'll just play play around with that a little bit. You can do your text, messing around with the text a little bit. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go to whatever font we want. I have a lot of fonts that I that I use. Mess around with a lot. See what's a pretty good font. Oh, where is it? Oh, here's one. This one. It's a pretty good font kind of bold and out there and almost a little bit 3d a little bit you can go to see you're not gonna be able to see that because the color is white so I'm gonna change it from white I'm gonna change it to white um, red a little bit you could do that how red you want it maybe I'll put it a little darker to right about there then I'll go to check that then I'm gonna resize it can I get out? Okay, I'm gonna move this more to the center. Okay, right there. Play around with this a little bit. You can also use this for like your videos or whatever. If you're doing like a video and you want to have a like a, a watermark or whatever, you could use this. And make sure that the background is transparent because if the background is transparent, it's easier to just uh, put it onto top of your video. For your uh, to make it a watermark, and you can do that. You can play around with the go to the effects, you can play around with the satin a little bit, or you can play around with the bevel, add a bevel to it. Let's see, let's go to the bevel, inner bevel. I usually do emboss, make it more a lot more like 3D looking, add a add like a stroke to it, depending on how the text looks. It'll bring out more of a dramatic, uh, dramatic like more closer to a 3D look. You can see a little bit changing. It kind of looks 3D a little bit. If you don't have anything like 3D program or whatever, you don't have it. I would probably make it a bit like close. I'd you probably make the image uh, size a bit like on the width. I'd make it to like a thousand two hundred, somewhere around there. And you can play around with the size of the text a little bit. To write it right, right about there. I usually do it like that for in case like if you want to resize it a little bit, it doesn't like get cut off if you're trying to do something with your video or whatever, and you want to like I said, want to use it as a watermark, you could do that. And then you can also do this. Say you have like textures, we'll go, we'll go to uh, 
open. We'll go to let's see. Search for textures. Texture, textures. And backgrounds. Okay. Go here. Okay, you can like put like a logo in there if you like find an image, say I don't know. I have uh I'll do like which one's not a good I'll do this even though it kinda looks girly a little bit. Uh it's not for like oops. Check that. I'll go to here and I'll get my quick selection tool and it should Right there, and if you see a little bit of white, cut that out. Want to get perfect in there and stuff. Do that. Do this. This. And right there, okay. And play around with that a little bit. You can put it on, the, on top. Or depending on how big you want it, you can put it on the bottom mess around with this and the text depending on how your text is you might not like that a little bit just play around with it uh, if you want that or whatever or you can go to like oh we'll just go to file new I'll go to ok there and then I'll show you something a little different you could do to make a logo you could let's go to size image size let's change it to like a thousand a thousand two hundred by a thousand let's see like by like five hundred something like that or yeah I like that just messing around you can have something like this let's see let's put the logo on top something like 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 this if you want it like Okay, so first one, we'll try to put it, depending on how you want to do it, you could play around with it like that, or you can have like a, like if you have a brush or whatever, let's see, let's get your brushes, depending on what you downloaded or whatever, this one's a good one, it's already selected, you could do this, I'd resize it a little bit, so you size it to, to like right here, you can have this and you have a good brush and it's pretty good and this is like kind of like a skull a little bit you can like do a different skull let's see let's go back all the way down to like maybe you might want a different skull brush could use uh let's see where is it or see or not just a skull if you have like a like sports you could do something with sports like that like that for brushes See, you could do like a, yes, something like this. So you know how to draw pretty well. I'm not perfect at drawing by hand, so I, so I try to cheat a little bit with the brushes. Let's see, let's go to edit, undo. You could do this. You could use, I would go edit, undo that, make, change the size to a tad bit smaller. It's pretty huge. You could use, this says a logo right here. You can use this. Might wanna uh, like, and then you can play around with the effects on it. You go to stroke. You can make it. Let's see, you can make it from black. So let's play around with that. Black to red, to to there. That looks pretty cool right there. That's about that. The size of the of the stroke, I'd probably leave it as a three. It looked okay, a little bit, and you could play around with the, like say, like I said, with the text one. You could play around with the bevel, and then I usually do emboss, like I said, play around with that. It looks three D a little bit right there, and that's pretty uh, uh, uh much uh, what you could do with that and. It's not pretty hard or whatever, depending on, like I said, how detailed if you want. If you're really good at drawing 
it, it makes it a lot easier easier a little bit because because you already got a good drawing by hand on on paper so you put that onto like photoshop and you know how to you know you know draw inside photoshop because you got a good uh detail for drawing but i'm not perfect at drawing so i cheat a little bit by you know getting brushes or whatever that i find on google and then i play around with them a little bit you can like see this See, you want to erase that, you want to use something else. So, erase this, make it a bit bigger. Okay, I want to erase that so I get my brush tool, play around with uh, whatever I have. I'd make that smaller because it looks cut off and funny a little bit, but not that small. Just to about like, yeah, to like right about there. Try to fit somewhere in the center. Mess around with that. It already has the effects done, like the uh, bevel stroke, or whatever, on the layer, so that stays. If you just want to get rid of it, if you don't like that, you just uncheck them, go back to being solid. And uh, if you don't have a stroke on it, I guess uh, since the background is transparent, it, it, you'd probably it has to be like a solid color to come in a lot brighter. So just put a stroke to it, or like a a, a glow or something. Bring it out a little bit since the background is transparent, whatever. And you mess around with that a little bit. And that's pretty much uh, it on this uh, tutorial. I hope uh, uh, you got something, uh, an understanding. It's just give you an idea to get you started uh, a little bit. Uh, how you could do logos, whatever. Could add, like, right there. Not all, even add, like, the, my username. I'll just drag it onto there. Let's just go to this layer. So you would, would look like with that there, something like that. You might want to change the text because sometimes certain texts you have don't go mashed together, together pretty nice. So you might want to do this a little bit, check that, and then that's a little different right there. Depending on what text looks good for your username or whatever it is, your website name, logo for whatever you want to use a logo for. A lot of people use logos in their videos because it looks pretty cool having a logo there showing that you actually created it. Especially if you're doing like fan videos or whatever. That's that. And like I said, certain texts, they look off a little bit. Depending on how the text is designed and stuff. And there's that. Uh, here's, here's a good 28 days later is a really good really makes my username look pretty good oh and then I added like a bevel to this or whatever so I might want to get rid of that so I go to the well check this and then I go to fix go to the bevel let's see blending options uncheck the bevel so now it looks a lot better and then I go to the stroke on this because the text is pretty solid and I change the color on the stroke Probably from that to like blue so it blends in. Or like white. Or then you change the size so you can see it a lot better. And boom, right there. That's that's it. That's how you make logos. It's it's pretty simple. Uh, uh as simple as, as, as can be. Uh what, what makes it pretty hard is just not knowing knowing what you can do and and stuff like that. But if you're like I said good hand coordination with drawing on paper and then drawing inside of Photoshop you know how to draw like people draw logos whatever and stuff like that I don't really know how to draw cuz I'm cricket when I try to draw uh, something random so I, I cheat a little bit like I said getting brushes I can find on Google or whatever and stuff like that so I try to do that a little bit mostly what I'm really good at is uh, just blending images or whatever cuz I don't really know how to draw cuz like I said if you can't draw on hand by hand like a like a if you want to draw like a like a character or something if you can't draw that by hand it's going to be really hard to do it on photoshop you could try to you know cheat it a little bit because photoshop allows you to uh, make your points a little bit perfect when you're trying to draw a character but like i said if you can't really draw on hand don't even try it on photoshop it, it's kind of hard but so and when they look like logos and stuff like like this you could use See, just go to there. Go to the in here. And you can like use this or whatever, and that 
looks pretty whatever you want to do and that's it so comment rate subscribe check out my main channel which is uh, 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 well check out my channel and everything uh, my other tutorials I have a bunch of other Photoshop tutorials you can check those out you can check out my uh, other tutorials I do a lot of video editing tutorials and I plan on doing a lot more web design I've done three web design tutorials showing you how to uh, code a little bit on that and check out my website pixelpocketmedia.com and uh, that's it and uh, also check out my second channel which I do parodies movie reviews sometimes game reviews stuff like that kind of like random videos but so far I've done parodies and movie reviews and game reviews so check out that channel and I'll put a link at the end to check out that channel and everything and my website and all that you can check that out that's it Come on.